So this tough rod got five meters length. That means this tough rod is a metric tough rod. Hey guys, I'm Suleiman Khan, and in this video, we will be reading a metric stuff. Let's say you are a beginner to land survey, or you are just doing leveling. Okay, you are sighting by a leveling machine, and you are looking at this tough rod. Then how you can read it? What should be the reading on the cross hair? Okay, so this time I got a cross hair like this one. Okay, it is just a binding wire because this time I don't have a leveling machine. Okay, so first let's understand how a staff rod should be read out. Okay, as you can see, this staff rod is five meters. Okay, mostly it comes in five meters. Okay, sometimes maybe in three meters. It does not matter. But this staff rod is a decimal system. That means each unit is been divided into 10 further units, okay? Like one meter is been divided into 10 units. That one unit is called DC meter. And then one DC meter has been divided furtherly into 10 units, which are known by centimeters. And then centimeter is not been divided. However, you're gonna do that uh, by yourself, okay? Just Mm, you can say supposition you're gonna suppose that okay so you have to divide each as you can see these as you can see these are uh, symbols okay so these are written centimeters okay at the at the one edge as you can see and uh, let's see as you can see this is one meter okay and you can also notice a red dot over there that means it's been one meter and above it as you can see with nine there's also one dot okay that means we are still above one meter we have not reached to two meters yet all right so the main point which you really need to be understood is just dividing each pattern okay so let's say you got the cross here on this position that means you have to look to the horizontal okay or you can say the middle air right like you can say this reading is now 104 centimeters that means you can say 1.04 meters so simple there is nothing complicated over here okay like you can say if i go up like this one that means this reading is now 1.05 meters however if you put it like that which is just dividing 104 and 105 you can say it is 104 centimeters however we can just divide this one centimeter into half which is of course 1.045 okay so simple you have to actually convert from this point to this point into millimeters right into 10 millimeters which means this up to this middle point these are 5 mm like you can say you have to divide like this 1 2 3 4 5 okay and then 5 of this red pattern okay so simple like another point let's say if it's like this one okay then as you can see we got 104 that's been completed so I can say 1.04 meters and then let's count the mm okay from here to here, these are 5 mm's, like, and then from here to there, these are also 5. So as you can see, 5 are completed, and then I can roughly say these are, you can say, 2, okay? So, sample, like, we can say 1.04 and then 7. That means 1.04 meters and 7 mm. Okay, let's try this point. As you can see, we are just above 179 and below 180 centimeters. That means we are 1.79 completed. However, we're going to count mm, okay? From 179 till 180, those are actually 10 mm's. And actually, the crosshair is right at the middle point. That means we're going to take 5 mm's, okay? Like you can say 1.79 and then 5. So simple. Let's try another point. Let me just jump it over there. Okay. As you can see, we are actually exactly upon 182. So I can say 1.82. So 
so simple let's try another one okay i'm gonna open it okay just like that so simple okay let's try this reading okay as you can see we have just covered one uh sorry that's 278 that means we are just above one meter and two meter also so i can say 2.719 can be the reading okay however if i just bring it little bit down like that that means we are now 2.78 completed however we gonna count the mm okay as you can see from this point till date these are 10 mm's okay however from this to this these are 5 mm's that means we're gonna count these 3 mm's as well okay we, we're gonna do that roughly you're gonna suppose them okay because these are not been divided in mm so i can say 2.78 and 8 the reading is now 2.788 that means 2 meter 7 dc meter 8 centimeter and then 8 mm so simple okay let's try another okay i'm gonna try another one let's try as you can see at the top like like here okay i'm gonna try this reading okay what should be the reading of course it's 4.84 and then three you can say three uh, you can also take two mm how let's see 4.84 that's been completed okay and we are below 485 centimeters so i can say 4.84 and then from here to here these are five mm's and roughly i can say we have covered three mm's so i can say 4.84 and then three or you can say two does not matter okay i'm gonna take a final reading now which is going to be less than you can say a meter all right okay so we got this point what we gonna do with it as you can see we are just below one meter as you can see this is 56 centimeter which is less than 100 centimeters so we are just below one meter that means 56 centimeters has been completed or you can say 0.5 five six meter and then from here till that point these are 10 mm and as you can see from here to here these are five mm's and we are just below little bit below that five figure so that means four mm can be taken so the reading is now 0 0.56 and four or you can say zero meter five decimeter six centimeter and then four mm so simple right let me try another one just take it by yourself okay let's say what is going to be this reading just take it okay did you got it all right i'm gonna say it is 0 0.58 and then eight how as you can see 59 that's not completed so we're gonna take the below one which is this one 0 0.58 and then from here to here i can roughly say these are 8 mm because from here to till that point these are 10 mm so simple all right so did you figure it out how to use and where to use it where to use it of course in a leveling actually in a while i asked a student that what else can we do with a staff rod he replied that we can kill a snake with it and <laughs> i gave him five out of five 